no. Oh, no. Oh, how did this get in the paper? What's the Look matter Look at now? this in Earl Wilson's column, the second paragraph. Oh, this Reach is awful. Out loud, huh? This is just awful. Attention, mom and pop. Got a kid with talent? Danny Williams is looking for small fry entertainers for his upcoming TV special. Oh, well, what's wrong with that? You are looking for talent. But I just want a couple of kids. You realize when a stage mothers read that thing in Wilson's column, they're gonna, they're gonna just charge this house? They'll be running around here like cats at open house at a fish market. <laughs> Why don't you just tell them the job is filled? Well, the job isn't filled. Well, it might be if you just take the trouble to look around. You might spot the talent that's sitting right under your... <laughs> you mean you? Uh-huh. And me. Yeah, us. What do you know about that? Well, I'll tell you what, kid. Don't call me. I'll call you, huh? <laughs> you can't use a terrific ballerina. Well, how about that? Hmm. You look like Bronco Najinsky. <laughs> How about a sock drummer who can really beat the skins? Oh, cut it out. Oh, God! My dishes! Russ, you... Russ, will you cut it out before I beat your skins? <laughs> You're passing up some big talent. All right. Really big, really big, big talent. All right. <laughs> All of a sudden... How do you like that? We're unwanted. I know. <laughs> All of a sudden, your kids want to be actors. Oh, you dirty wretch! You killed my brother Louie in the back. <laughs> and that's the way you're gonna get it. <laughs> you're gonna get it if you don't get off to school. You're gonna be late. Now hurry up. Gee, honey, when those stage mothers read this thing, I'm telling you, we're just gonna be swarmed with kids. Dad, the mailman's here. Oh, hello, Herbie. Bye. Goodbye, Linda. Bye, Herbie. What, he got a special delivery letter for me? No, it's just a regular mail. Why don't you put it in a box downstairs, like always? Well, I thought I'd bring this up in person. Could be important, you know. A postcard? Attention. Yeah, see? It is important. <laughs> it's been 90 days since you had your car lubricated. <laughs> for this, you came up eight flights? Well, I like to give service to my customers. <laughs> Especially those who are so busy casting children for their TV shows. I see you read Earl Wilson. Huh? I mean, you read where I'm looking for talented kids and you just happen to have one. Oh, no, no. Oh, good. I got two. Two? <laughs> wait, Herbie, you mean they're here with you? Oh, wait, Herbie, look. I got it. I Only don't have time. Really. You, you'll never, you'll Honestly, never regret Herbie, this. I don't have time. Sure, I, I want you to do it good now. No, watch this. You'll never hear anything like this. Ready? Next time you're found with your chin on the ground, there's a lot to be learned. Uh. So look around. Is that wonderful? Yeah. I ask you. Just what makes that little old ant good, good. think he'll move that rubber tree plant? That's it. Anyone knows that an ant Would can't I... move a rubber tree plant, but oh. he's got high oh. hopes. Oh. He's got. No fathers, no mothers. You sure? No fathers, no mothers? No fathers, no mothers. No kids? With no fathers and no mothers, how are you going to get kids? <laughs> no, so stop with the jokes. I'm on a tight spot here, and I want you to keep these people away from me. Do you understand? I will stand guard for you. When they come here, I want you to tell them that, 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 that I don't... I, I've gone away. You have gone away? I, I'm out of town. You are out of town? Yeah. I, I'm not living here anymore. You don't live here anymore. That's right. Thanks a lot. Jose? What's the matter? Why don't you live here anymore? <laughs> but I do live here. Oh, welcome back. No! <laughs> I mean, don't you understand? I want you to tell the people that I don't live here. It's not that I don't live here. Just tell them I don't live here. So they won't bother me. Do you, do you want me to lie? <laughs> well, yes. William, that's very naughty. I know it's naughty, but I thought you were going to help me out. I thought you were going to keep the people away from me so I can get my work done. I will help you. 
You will. I will keep them away. I would do anything for you, Mr. Williams. I would climb the highest mountain. I would walk a million miles. I would lay down my life for you. Thank you, Jose. Of course, for that, I'd expect a pretty big tip. <laughs> Believe me, you keep them away from me, and you'll get a real great tip. I'll see you later. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here comes a whole swarm of them. Tell them I left the country. Tell them I went to Honolulu. Okay. Don't worry about it, Mr. Williams. You can depend on me, pal. Oh, uh, 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 what's the number of the Danny Williams apartment, please? Uh, Danny Williams uh, doesn't live here anymore. He went away. Went away? Where? He went to John Alulu. <laughs> John Alulu? Yeah, you know where they had the Jula Jula girl? How do you like that? We get these kids all dressed up, and we rush down here just as fast as we can, all the kind about that Earl Wilson article. Oh, you just can't believe anything you read in the papers. Now, come on home. Take those pants off before you ruin the crease. <laughs> Boy, I tell you something. You just can't figure it out the way these people come here, these mothers and fathers, and bring the children right into Mr. Williams' own house. Goodness, it's a terrible thing when they ruin a person's privacy like that. It's enough to make you terribly angry. <laughs> Hello, Maria? Listen, uh, send little Manuel over here, will you? I think I can get him into show business. <laughs> oh, look, Manuel, I just want you to wait out here, understand? You think you can get him to see me, Uncle Jose? Good. You think I would bring you here to chase some wild gooses or something? You're the best uncle in the whole world, Uncle Jose. No, I wouldn't say that, but I'm glad you did. If it wouldn't have been for you, I couldn't have gone to dancing school. Oh, no, that was nothing. Oh, but it was. Dancing lessons cost a lot of money. Mama doesn't know how you can afford to pay for the lessons on your salary. Now, listen, I've got a little secret, Manuelito. You know, I have, beside my regular salary, I make a little money on the side. Like stocks and bonds? Well, it's, it's something like that. You see, when my elevator is coming up, it stops suddenly, and sometimes the money comes out of the pockets. <laughs> now, listen, just, you come right over here, understand? You just stand right there. Who is it? It's me, Mrs. Williams. <laughs> I was afraid maybe you were a stage mother. Oh, no. What can I do for you? I came up here to report. Oh? Oh, I've been doing a good job for you. Well. I haven't let one single mother or a child come up to this door. Wonderful. Thank I you very much. I didn't even let them come up to the floor. Thank you. I didn't let a mother or a child come right into the elevator. Oh, you certainly done a great job, and I appreciate it. There's a one woman came with three children. I didn't even let her into the building. Really? And she lives here. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you don't have to carry it that far. Now, Mr. Williams, I would do anything for you. Thank you. I tell you what I would do. I would fight for you. If they came at me with the bones, if they came with knives or swords, or if they came at me with an atomic bomb. A tonic bomb? Yes. <laughs> I would even Please. fight for you That's there. That's all right. I appreciate it. Even the wind, it. nor the rain, nor the hail, nor the sleep. <laughs> oh. All right, all right. I'm glad you stopped me. I hate to fight in that kind of weather. <laughs> Jose, I, I really appreciate what you're doing. And if there's ever I can do anything for you, you just name it. Well, you know, there's one little thing you could do for me, pal. Well, you name it and it's yours, pal. Thank you very much. Thank you for putting my little nephew, Manuel, on your television show, pal. <laughs> <laughs> just a minute, buster. What happened to pal? <laughs> what is it, some kind of a joke? What do you mean, your nephew, Manuel? I just can't take a kid and put him on a television show just like that. Don't be silly. I guess you can't believe what people tell you these days. I, I thought I heard my pal say he would do anything for me. Oh, no, Jose, have a heart. I have a heart, Mr. Williams, but now you have broken it in, into little pieces. <laughs> All right, what's your nephew's name? Manuel Ramon Cardenas. <laughs> Manuel Ramon Cardenas? That's right. What has he done? He didn't do anything. He's a good boy. <laughs> I mean, what has he done professionally? Has he ever been on a stage? No. Has he, has he been in a picture? Yes, he's in a picture. Really? Yes, and you could see it. Where's it showing? On my dresser. <laughs> You mean he's had no, no professional experience? 
Well, he, he's going to get some professional experience. When? After you hire him. <laughs> Jose, I cannot hire your nephew. Now, it, it's out of the question. He, he's an amateur. He's had no experience at all. Now, you expect me to put him on a big television special? It's not fair to the audience. It's not fair to the sponsor. Please try to understand. I understand, Mr. Williams. You are a big star, and I'm just a lowly elevator operator, and there's no reason why I should bother you. You're not bothering me, Jose. Yes, it's... I am bothering no, you. No, you're not. And you hate me. I don't hate you. <laughs> I don't hate you at all. I like you. How much? <laughs> A lot. A whole lot? A whole lot. We are friends? We are friends. Pals? How? Like brothers? Like brothers. All right, if we're brothers, why don't you give your nephew Manuel a job? No! <laughs> Stop tricking me like that. You hate me. I don't hate you. <laughs> Jose. Jose. Uncle Jose? Oh, hi. Will he see me now, Uncle Jose? Yes, he's, he's very anxious to see you. Oh, good. But at a more convenient time. <laughs> You can just put them over there on the table. Hey, I'll be very I happy guess. to bring them right into the kitchen for you. Oh, no, no, that won't be necessary. That's just I fine. Put away the cans. I could peel the potatoes for you. Oh, no, Jose, you've done enough already. Oh, no, I never could do enough for you. You are the queen, and I am your humblest slave. <laughs> You're terribly sweet, Jose. Yes, I am. <laughs> Uh, Your Majesty, would you kindly tell your slave to get lost? Because the king has got work to do. He's got to prepare a show so he can earn enough money to pay the rent for Her Majesty's castle. Manny, I don't... Oh, no, it's all right. I understand. I will get out of your way, Your Majesty and Mrs. Majesty. I go, if you need me for anything, please make sure you call on your humble oh, slave. thank you, Jose. You're very sweet. Yes, I am. <laughs> Danny! I will not. <laughs> you don't even know what I was going to say. Oh, yes, I do. I don't have to be a genius to figure out this humble routine and the bowing and the scraping, Your Majesty. Obviously, Jose has been bending your ear to get you to get me to get his nephew on that TV show. Oh, he has not been bending my ear. He hasn't, huh? No. As a matter of fact, he just mentioned it casually. Really? When the elevator stalled between floors. <laughs> <laughs> and after he... Finished casually mentioning it, suddenly the elevator suddenly got unstalled, right? Jess! Jess! Uh, yes! Well, let's consider the whole subject dropped. Do you mind? I got work to do. Danny, you could at least take a look at his nephew. Kathy, I love you with all my heart and soul, and I'd do anything in the world for you, but I cannot do this. I can't put a kid who's had no experience on a big TV special. That's got to be more stage mothers. Tell them I enlisted in the Lebanese Navy. Oh. <laughs> Linda, baby, what happened? What's the matter? Nothing. I've just been carried. Yeah, there was such a long walk from the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> I take you to your room, little princess? Oh, no. Just put me down over there. All right. I'll put you right on your little throne. There you go, little princess. He's my humble slave. Oh, my. <laughs> and I am your humble slave, too. Don't forget. <laughs> Always at your beck and call. <laughs> yeah, he's real sweet. Did somebody back? Get out! <laughs> Daddy, why don't you give his nephew a chance on your TV show? Linda, why don't you mind your own business? <laughs> but, Daddy, if you don't hire him, you're making a big mistake. His nephew is a terrific dancer, just sensational. How do you know? Jose told me. Oh, <laughs> Jose, Jose. Everything is Jose. The guy's going to drive me out of my... Now, who can that be? I'll get it. Let him in. Here we go. <laughs> I thought of him walking all the way from the elevator down the corridor. Yeah. So I gave him a little ride. Yeah, why well, walk when you can ride? <laughs> What's going on, Russell? Dad, you know Jose has a nephew who's a fabulous dancer? You don't say. 
Yeah, if you act fast, you may be able to get him for your TV special. And if I act faster, I can get to kick a certain humble slave in his certain humble pants. <laughs> now get off that thing. All right, Prince Charming, everybody off. <laughs> Dad, you might at least give his nephew an audition. They say he's terrific. They say he's terrific. Yes, you could give him an audition. It's the least you can do for Jose. He's been so sweet. I've been so sweet. <laughs> Please. 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 <laughs> All right, I'll give him an audition. Oh, oh thank you, Mr. Williams. You will never regret this as long as you, you live. I kiss your hand. No, don't kiss my hand. <laughs> Leave me alone. Let's have him at the Copa Club tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock. A little audition. Of Copa Club tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock. Ah. Now, if the snow job experts will kindly disperse so I can get to the piano and get my work done. All right? See you around. Look, if you're going to the piano... Your Uncle Jose. Oh, you must be Manuel. Yes, sir. Manuel Ramon Cardenas. Manuel Ramon Cardenas. Oh, where's your uncle? He must have been delayed. He'll probably be here later. Oh. I'm most grateful for you to give me the opportunity to, to audition for your program, Mr. Williams. I've been looking forward to meeting you. It's a great privilege to audition for your program. <laughs> Are you sure Jose is your uncle? <laughs> How does he speak to you? Through an interpreter? <laughs> I mean, uh, you're, you're not uh, exactly a, a chip off your uncle's block. <laughs> well, I'll be right with you, son. Dan, that's very good. You give your name to Miss Dorsey at the desk there, and phone number, and you'll be hearing from us. Thank you. Very good job, Dan. Very good. Very Mr. Good. Williams? Yes? You like the way he danced? Yes, yes. Everybody likes a good old-fashioned American tap dance, son. Now, look, we uh, haven't got much time, can't keep the band much longer. We can't wait for your uncle. So have you got your music? Uh... Well, uh, I can dance to what the last boy danced to. Oh, are you a tap dancer too? Well, uh, yes, sir. You are? Earl, let's have that Mark Fisher number again. Go ahead, son. <laughs> taking dancing lessons? Yes, sir, I take dancing lessons. You do? <laughs> yes, sir. You really take dancing lessons? Yes, sir, I've been taking them for about three years. Three years? My goodness. <laughs> it's kind of hard to believe. <laughs> Uncle Jose pays for my lessons. Uncle Jose? Oh, excuse me, Mr. Williams. I'm sorry, I'm late, sorry, I'm late, Manolito. I get, I will get ready right now and do the dance for you. Well... I already did it, Uncle Jose. Yes, we've had the dance. Oh, I guess you were surprised, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, real surprise. And you're going to give Manuel a big job on your job. Uh, uh, sit down, son. Uh, Jose, l let me talk to you a second. Now, look, he's a real cute kid. Yeah. But, you know, show business is a, is a tough, tough racket. It's no bed of roses. And believe me, people, people with a lot of talent still don't make it because they haven't got that, that, that something special, that little extra something. You understand what I mean? You say that the manual doesn't have something special? 
Well, uh... You mean he doesn't have something special? Look, Jose, I'd rather bite my tongue than hurt your feelings, but I've got to say what is true. Now, I know this business pretty well. I've been in it all my life. Now, he tells me you've been spending money on dancing lessons for him. Yes, I have. Jose, stop it. Save your money. This boy has no talent for show business. What you mean, Mr. Williams? You are trying to tell me that Manuel, the whole head of his class at the academy, has no talent what? for show business? What, what, I... Listen, my ex-pal friend, King. <laughs> your ex-humble slave talking to you now. I tell you one thing, that I hate to say this, but I I hate to even have you in my elevator anymore, because you don't know what you're talking now, about. Jose, you Jose, Jose now listen. Well. Now, don't lose Please your head. Get out of here. Wait, Uncle Jose. Don't be mad at Mr. Williams. I didn't dance well. I know better than that. Jose, you heard the kid. Bless you, son. That's real nice. He's being honest with you. He didn't dance well. I'm telling you, save your money. This boy will never be a tap dancer. Don't you try to tell me that he won't be a, a tap dancer. That's right. That's the kind of dance you were doing for Mr. William, a tap dance? Yes, Uncle Jose. Well, why did you do that, Manuel? That's what they like. Well, I do not care what you like, Mr. William. Manuel Ramon Cardenas will never be a tap dancer. But he said he's a tap dancer. He's an artist, and we're going to show you. Come on, Manny Valito. Now, you put on that. Here, I will take the music and pass it out. Would you kindly pass that out to all the musician people? Thank you very much. future, son. Now, before your mother signs it, have her take it to a lawyer so that he can protect your interests. Oh, I will protect his interests. Huh? You mean you're going to handle his affairs? Oh, sure. I'm going to be his manager. I would look over all the contracts with a fine tooth comb, and I will be by your side all the time to protect him. I'm lucky to have you, Uncle Jose. That's right. Now, look, you explain this to me so I can start protecting you. <laughs> Go ahead, read that. Well, it says that the party of the first part, herein... Now, wait a minute. That's out. <laughs> what are you talking about? What's out? He's in training. No parties. Oh, <laughs> 